One of the best updates that ChatGPT has made recently is the ability to enter custom instructions. And I'm here right now in my account. And what we do is we just go down to the bottom left, click on the three dots, and there it is, custom instructions right there. And we're presented with these two empty boxes. So what do we actually do with them? Well, if you click in them, it will give you some tips, as you can see on the right-hand side. But what we're doing here is kind of preempting chat GPT so that every time it's uh, we make a request to it with a new chat, it basically consults this information first before it actually starts to produce the output for you. So this will probably save you a lot of time in having to add to your prompt to say, don't do this, do this, say that, and all the rest of it so that you don't have to keep doing that every single time you do a prompt. That's why it's really, really cool. It also helps ChatGPT kind of understand you and your business and the way in which you were using ChatGPT primarily. It's also worth noting as well that every time you start a new chat, if you have this set down here where it says enable for new chats, you can switch it on and off it will use this. So if you're using ChatGPT to do different things, maybe you have two or three completely different businesses and you're using it for those different things, bear in mind that it is gonna consult these uh, custom instructions each time. So you might wanna switch it off for one thing or even just go in and copy and paste in new custom instructions if you're gonna do a ton of work on a different subject. So let's just do the first part of it right now using myself as an example and, and how I will use a chat GPT. What I'll do is I'll just enter some information in right here and then we'll get going. My name is Jason West and I am the marketer for the following companies. And then we'll put in a chat GPT school. And I'll put in the .com there as well. And then I'll put in uh, fastfunnels.com. And I might even uh, correct that, why not? And then we'll put in uh, Fastbots, which is my new AI company. So there we go, that's kind of explained who I am and, and what it is that I'm actually doing. Um, and I'll give it some more insight as well. I use ChatGPT primarily to create high quality marketing content in the form of blog posts, comma, articles, social media posts, video transcription, etc. There we go. So that, that will give it just a, a little bit more information uh, on me, why I'm using the platform, why I'm using ChatGPT and how I'm going to use it. Then it asks this, which is really strange that they've put it in kind of gray on black. You can barely read it. But basically it says, how would you like ChatGPT to respond? And so here you can get rid of some of the most annoying habits of ChatGPT, like using certain words a lot, which drive me crazy. So I'm going to first of all get rid of the things that ChatGPT does uh, that bug me by putting them in right here. Never use the word revolutionize, comma, unlock, comma, or unleash in any of the content that you create for me, full stop. So there we go, that's the first thing I'm gonna do because it really uh, drives me crazy. Now I can start to have it create the content in the right kind of tone and everything that I would like. So instead of having to say every single time with a prompt, um, can you write in a, a friendly tone or a sarcastic tone or whatever it is you want, you can just put that in right here uh, and then it just it, yeah, it just saves you a bit of time, doesn't it? So let's do that. I like you to create my content in a friendly, conversational style, but not too cheesy, please. You can use emojis and hashtags in all of the social media content that you produce, but don't overdo the emojis. Full stop. That's something else that I've found with ChatGPT. So now that we have those things in place and you can adjust these and just play about with them to get the right results, it should just save you some time. The other thing that you can do as well is, you know, when it says apologies, I only have uh, access to data up to September 2021. If you're sick of seeing that, you can just tell it not to do it ever again. 
you know, that kind of thing. Or don't apologize, I'm an AI language model. All those things that just start to annoy you a little bit sometimes. Just tell it not to bother doing it. And then once we've finished, we just click save. And now we can go ahead and create some content. And just up here, this was uh, something that I did with it before this was introduced. And you can see that I've asked it to transcribe a certain video and I've had to tell it, you know, do not use the word revolutionize, unlock or unleash because it does that a lot, as I say. And then it's gone on and created the content and then I've asked it to create some more content and so on. Let's try it again. But this time um, we won't bother putting in about this revolutionize and then just see if it does a better job now that it's got these custom instructions. So first of all, I'll start a new chat. There we go. I'm going to use the plugin right here, which will be Vox Script, one of my favorite. And that one uh, will basically go to the YouTube video, get that transcription and then allow us to work with that. So we'll put in the prompt. I'm going to remove the previous instructions that I always have to actually do. And then uh, I've noticed there's another one there as well. I've put in there, put the actual URL to the video in the post. That's something that I could just not ever have to worry about again by putting that into the custom instructions in the output section. I can just tell it to make sure it does that every time. So now we'll, we've done that, we'll let it go ahead and start creating that content. Let's see how well it does. Usually it's it's pretty quick and here it is. So hey there friends, ever wondered which large language model is the best for writing? Well, I've got something special for you. Uh, in my latest video, I dived into the head to head comparison between Claw2, Llama2 and our favorite chat GPT-4. Want to know which one produces the best quality article? Curious about their readability? I've got you covered. So it's not too bad. Not only that, but I also explore a fantastic website where you can try out these language models and guess what? Some of them are completely free. And then it's got the link to the video there which it has done correctly it's got the hashtags and then uh, a little ps there at the bottom so nice touch so with this i actually don't think or feel that i would have to make any adjustments to this i'm perfectly happy with it whereas quite often i do find i have to just go back and say oh don't do this or do that tweak it a little bit so maybe you know the custom instructions are working well and they're doing the job and as i say you can always go back and add to them any time that you find something annoying and i don't it's a shame that we just can't search through our prompts because i could go ahead and find some examples of where it says about you know uh, i've only got data up to september 2021 but anytime as you're going along you're creating prompts you're using chat gpt and it does anything at all that bugs you just put it in those custom instructions and get rid of that annoyance evermore so that's really about it i feel uh with custom instructions i don't think there's an awful lot more to it but it is a useful feature and uh, long may new features continue from chat gpt i'm sure they will if you found this video useful you would like this which is my free chat gpt group of 7.1 thousand people now it's growing and growing and growing and growing and we're in there just talking about language models ai cool software anything that helps people um, to do with ai it's in this group and there's a lot of really great members who are very keen to go and help out new people as well like yourself so click the link underneath this video come and join this completely free group and have fun and learn and that's what we're all here to do so thanks ever so much for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one in just a second